How strong is Derek Hale in Teen Wolf, the movie? What's up, guys? It's Jade back here for another video once again. We are here to talk about Derek Hale and just how strong I think he will be in the upcoming Teen Wolf, the movie, releasing on Paramount Plus later this year. If you guys have not already, check out the link in the description to my Discord. You guys can join the Discord server through the link in the description and in the pinned comment below. Also, check out my playlist for True Alpha, my book series that is releasing in a couple of weeks on September 2nd, 2022. So if you're interested in that, check out the playlist in the pinned comment down below below and in the description as well. So just how strong is Derek Hale in Teen Wolf the movie? Well, the last time we saw Derek Hale, it seemed like the writing kind of screwed him over because it seemed like he kind of he kind of had a power decrease. But if we're going based off season four Derek Hale, and I mean Derek once he evolved and became an evolved werewolf, we know that Derek Hale on screen at least in terms of werewolves who have feet is one of easily the top five strongest werewolves we have seen in the verse thus far up there with the likes of Deucalion, the beast true alpha scott mccall at the end of the at the end of the series so derek's no joke derek's pretty strong we know evolved werewolves are the type of werewolves you should get to and the i and they're the ideal type of werewolf in team wolf that all werewolves should strive to achieve and we know that being an evolved werewolf gives you the most um type of power <laughs> except the beast because the beast as mentioned in the video before this is in a complete class of his own so <laughs> derrick hale i think that derrick should be i think that scott should realistically be stronger than derrick right because he's a true alpha and if they really want to live up to the name true alpha and actually have it mean something like it was supposed to originally in season three i think that they really need to give scott his due respect and stop treating him like trash and actually give him some worthwhile fights and some things to do where he actually shows he can handle villains on his own much like he was kind of doing at the end of the series so that's one that's one positive i'll give season six because y'all know how i feel about season six worst season of the show by far um so yeah i think derek should be not up there with scott in terms of actual power like experience obviously derek's older than scott so he's gonna be up there in terms of experience but i think in terms of power they should be relatively close with Scott just being, you know, a little bit above Derek since Derek is not an alpha, he's a beta. So being a beta, obviously he would be kind of weaker than Scott, even though he is an evolved werewolf, which does give him a significant power boost over any other beta in the series. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you leave a like. Also make sure you guys comment down below all your thoughts and opinions. I will get to as many comments as possible. As y'all know, I'm going on vacation this week. So if I do not get to you, that is probably why. I will come back uh, once I'm done with vacation, obviously, and I'll check out all the comments and read through them and see what you guys said. But I'm Jay's Corner. Make sure you guys have a great rest of your day or night. Whenever you're watching this, don't forget to do all the things I mentioned at the start of the video, including checking out the Discord and my True Alpha playlist. And I will catch you guys in the next Teen Wolf, the movie related video. Deuces.